Hello everyone, welcome to my Vorkath guide. I'm going to teach you the attacks that Vorkath uses, how to evade them, and how to kill him. Now, you probably have at least done Dragon Slayer 2 if you are looking at this guide. If not, you need to do Dragon Slayer 2 and you'll kill an easy version of Vorkath during the quest. But you probably haven't mastered the, uh, the attacks that he uses. You might have just scraped through on low health like I did during the quest. Uh, and since then, I've learned how to kill him. Now, for my inventory, I have a ranging pot, an anti-fire pot, an anti-venom, and two prayer pots. You do not need the anti-venom. I'm just using it out of convenience. You can bring a couple of standard anti-poisons and get rid of your uh, get rid of your venom slash poison during his acid phase, where you have to dodge his attacks with acid pools on the ground. That's a good time to be healing, by the way, is during that phase, and I'll show you show you how. Uh, so, there's a few things you need to be aware of. First, I'm just going to make sure everyone understands the mechanic of Karambwans and why I have them. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people don't seem to know this. A lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. Is that you can eat Karambwans in the same tick as you can eat other food, which means when I eat the monkfish and the Karambwan, I'll instantly heal 40 hit points, because 22 plus 18. If I was to eat, uh, sorry, not a monkfish, a manta ray. If I was to eat two manta rays back to back, I would heal 44. However, there would be a delay before the second eat. And as Vorkath's hits are pretty hard sometimes, being able to burst that heal is really nice. Uh, so yeah, getting into the gear setup, I'm wearing ranged void. I've got elite. You don't need elite, but elite's nice. A bit more accuracy and damage, but it's not huge. I've got the Salve Amulet EI, and that is the most important thing you wear. You need to be wearing your Salve Amulet EI. It just does a huge boost to your damage. Uh, and now you need a form of Avers. I'm assuming you don't have an Assembler because you need to kill Vorkath for it. So wear your best Avers. I've got the Archer's Ring Eye. If you don't have that, I actually really like using the Ring of Suffering for the prayer bonus. But if you don't have that as well, just use your best ring. I don't know what other rings would be useful there. Maybe... Maybe a Seer's Ring for the magic attack block if you're praying range, but no, nah, that seems dumb. Just just get an Archer's Ring. They're, they're pretty easy to get. Supreme's easy. Um, and then I've got a Blessing for the plus one prayer bonus. If you don't have it, don't worry, but it's just a nice little extra. Now, as for my method of getting there, I've just moved my house to Raleka, teleport to house, and exit the portal. And then I walk to Torfin, my best friend. Um, now, there's a few attacks at Vorkath you need to be aware of, uh, particularly his purple attack. It will disable your prayers. Now, for what we'll be praying, we'll be praying mage, like protect from mage, and I'll be putting on rigor. If you don't have rigor, use eagle eye, still pretty good. Um, I just realized this is my first Vorkath kill since I got rigor, so that's going to be cool. Um, those, and so set them up with your quick prayers so that when you get hit with the purple attack, you can swap to your prayers back on really quickly. The other one you need to be aware of is he'll freeze you, and during that time you won't be able to do any damage to him at all. He'll summon a zombie spawn, and you have to use Crumble Undead on that before it gets to you. If it gets to you, you're going to get hit for like a 60, and it's going to suck. There's another attack he does where he fires a ball into the air and it lands. If you're in a within a tile of it, you'll take half damage, as in half your HP. If it hits you directly, you will you'll die. You'll die hard. Um, what else does he do? He does a standard range, a standard melee, and a standard uh, did I say mage range attack. Um, stay out of melee range. He can't melee you. His Maged attack we'll be praying from. His ranged attack kind of looks like a little ball of electricity. And that one will be what you take the most damage from during the fight if you do it right. Now, that's when you need to start watching your HP is when he stacks those range attacks over and over. Um, so hopefully all goes well here. we we'll chuck the prey on, drink a dose of range pot, drink an anti-fire. Straight up, he's turned my prayer off. And done fire glad i drank the anti-fire now let's get out of the way of that i like to actually turn my run off during the fight it just makes the acid phase a little bit easier that was his ranged attack there so i'm still not too worried about anything he's doing now this is the zombie spawn summon now the hardest thing the thing i make 
the most mistakes with is I click crumble undead and then I misclick on the on the spawn. Now that was his venom attack, so I am venomed right now. That was his ranged attack that did all that damage to me just then, so I'm just gonna heal up a little bit. I'm expecting him to acid phase pretty soon. No, okay, let's keep going then, mate. There it is. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around. I'm gonna use this as a chance to heal up. Use this as a chance to get rid of my venom. I'm gonna heal up a little bit more. Drink a dose of prayer pot too. And now I'm straight back into the fight. Lost a little bit of HP at the end there that I could have done with. Dud specs, that's a shame. See what I mean? He's, he's stacking these ranged attacks on me, so that's why I'm taking a lot of damage at the present. But, you know, so far I've got him down to about half health and it's been a pretty breezy fight. And that would be my biggest thing about Vorkath is when you panic, you die. If you just stay relaxed, learn his attacks, learn that the ranged attacks are when you're going to take lots of damage, you'll be fine. I like to try and, and pick the path with the least poison pulls. Sometimes you can get the whole length down without jumping on one, but unfortunately this fight, he just hasn't really... Uh, been too forthcoming on the nice lines. All right. We're almost there, so I'm expecting something to go wrong and he'll he'll bomb me, I'll lag, and I'll die, and it'll ruin the guide and waste my time. And that would be a shame. Well, that's some bullshit. He's just really wasting my time now. Got him on the rocks and everything. Alright, let's hope I get something super rare just because of the guide. Oh yeah, some Onyx Bolt Tips, that's nice. A few Alks. Love the Superior Dragon Bones as well. The Blue Dragon Hide, it's all welcome. So you see, it wasn't the best kill for me. I went through quite a lot of food, so I can't go back to back. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. It all just depends on RNG of his hits, really, how many times he stacks that mage, uh, that ranged attack on you. But obviously, like, there was nothing that really bothered me during the fight. I'm, you know, had to drink two anti-venoms, so that would be the equivalent of a, of a whole anti-poison if you were bringing standard antis. Sometimes you'll stack that, that venom attack on you a lot more, and you'll go through a lot more antis, but... Um, I find two anti-poisons is more than enough for most fights. I have actually gone through a full two in the past, though. So, yeah, I hope you guys have lots of Vorkath luck. Uh, post, uh, post some of your loots in the comments if you can. I'd love to see what you guys are getting. And I uh, hope you have a good one. Cheers, guys.